thank you for joining me on the Optimum Living channel. My name's Dave B, or Dave Baxter. Um, and it's our mission here on this channel to help people to feel better about themselves. So for today, we're going to have a look at something called how to eat an elephant. <laughs> I know you might think that sounds mad and crazy and funny, but it's actually a very serious topic. Have you ever been in a situation where you are bubbling over with enthusiasm and an idea that can change the world? Something that's so revolutionary that you know deep inside it just has to get out there. You want everyone to see the picture that you see. You want them to get it. You have ideas in your mind of talking about it on national television, doing radio interviews, writing a book, or giving lectures. I know I've done those things, all of those things. You enthusiastically chat to people about your plans until they are sold on the concept. You may hold project meetings with important people. You may be overcome with a host of new spin-off ideas that relate to the original project. You may talk about time management or structure, but somehow it doesn't really seem to come together the way that you see it in your mind's eye. It's difficult until you understand that elephants are eaten one bite at a time. So let's for a moment look at something a little bit closer to home. You go to the supermarket to buy a loaf of bread. And you know that in the ninth, with 99% certainty, that loaf of bread is going to be exactly the same as the one you bought two days ago, or the one you bought three weeks ago, or even the one that you're going to buy a month from now. And why is that? because the bakers and the company that they work for, but the bakers themselves, have formulated a strategy. They have created the recipe for that loaf of bread. And all the steps needed to take are documented. The ingredients that make the loaf of bread today are exactly the same as the ones that made it last week last month and will make it in the future until they change the recipe. Cooking time is exactly the same. Cooking temperature the same. All of this is documented in such a way that anyone can do it and end up with the perfect loaf. So how does this compare with eating an elephant? Well basically you need to get clear on what you want to achieve and work out the steps that you need to take to get there. Because as I said earlier, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. Now let's just digress here a little bit further. Suppose you wanted to repaint the fourth road bridge. Would you gather together 40 men and tell them to go out and buy a pot of paint and a brush and start painting? That would be a complete and utter recipe for disaster. You could up and end up with a bridge of 40 different colours. People would start in different places. There could be arguments because two or three people wanted to paint in the same place. Total chaos would ensue. You have to plan. So let's now look at the five steps that are contained within this example of eating an elephant. You need to have the right mindset to get into the state that you will need to lose the idea that you want to accomplish everything right now, because that simply does not work. So here are some pointers to help you get into the optimum position for success. Number one, identify all the known steps in your project. And remember, 
that there may be others that crop up along the way. When they do, simply bank them along with the rest. And then relist. Number two, focus on the priorities. Identify what has to be done first. Leave everything else in the bank. Number three, map out the route. What action steps do you have to take to get your idea in progress? Number four, set up a timetable and a schedule. Enter all the action steps onto a calendar so that they each get a time space. And number five, a big one is trust. Progress forwards comes from taking small steps each day. So those are the five simple steps that will help you to move forwards in a positive, structured manner. And who knows, at the end of it, you following those steps, you will have eaten that elephant. I sincerely hope that you found this of interest and that you'll put it into your work. And more tips and ideas can be found on if you visit our blog spot, uh, blog pages or our blog, um, which is under blueskies2.blogspot.com. There's also a Facebook page, uh, which is called Under Blue Skies Dash The Tribe. And there I also post exclusive content just for tribe members. And it would be great to have you join me on there. And then we can all work together um, to forward, or forward, or <laughs> not forward, to forward enlightenment um, around this planet that we are living on. And if you've enjoyed the video, please make a comment in the box below or give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions that you want to ask that this has raised or any of the other topics that you find, um, just drop us an email to underblueskies at mail.com or send us on a tweet to under, at underblueskies2. See, we've added a Twitter account now. We're making progress. That's part of my elephant eating strategy. So now it's time to leave. Um, before I do, I'm going to wish you the best things that life can give. I'll wish you love and light and ask you to remember, don't predict the future, create it. I'm Dave B. This is the Blue Sky Company's Optimum Living Channel and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye bye now.